remember saying something like, I do it lightheaded. Maybe you should drive. Suddenly, there was a terrible roar all around us, and the sky was full of what looked like huge bats, all swooping and screeching and diving around the car. And a voice was screaming, Holy, Holy Jesus, Jesus where, where are these goddamn animals? animals? Dude. 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 Say something! Hmm? Never mind. It's your turn to drive. No point mentioning these bats, I thought. Poor <laughs> will see them soon enough. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers, also a quarter tequila, quarter rum, case of beer, pint of raw ether, two dozen amyls. Not that we needed all that for the trip, but once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. The only thing that really worried me was the ether. There is nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible and depraved than a man in the depths of an ether binge. And I knew we'd get into that rotten stuff pretty soon. A House subcommittee report says illegal drugs killed 160 American GIs last year, 40 of them in Vietnam. Drugs were sent. One dog, man! One dog over the line! One toke over the line. One you poor fool. Sweet, sweet Mary. Where do you see those goddamn bats, man? Let's give the boy a lift. What? No! Wait! We can't stop here. This is bat country. Is that right? Well, I guess you're about ready then, aren't you? We're your friends. We're not like the others, man. Really? No more of that talk around, but the beaches on you, understand? <laughs> Get in. How long could we maintain, I wonder? How long before one of us starts raving and jabbering at this boy? What will he think then? This same lonely desert was the last known home of the Manson family. Would he make that grim connection when my attorney starts screaming about bats and huge manta rays coming down on the car? If so, well, we'll just have to cut his head off and bury him somewhere. Because it goes without saying that we can't turn him loose. He'd report us at once to some kind of outback Nazi law enforcement agency and they'll run us down like dogs. Jesus, Jesus did I say, I say that? that? Or just think it? Was I talking? Did they hear me? It's okay. Just admiring the shape of your skull. No thanks. Maybe I better have a chat with this boy, I thought. Perhaps, if I explain things, he'll rest easy. All right, listen. There's one thing you should probably understand. Can you hear me? Good. I want you to have all the background. Oh. This is a very ominous assignment with overtones of extreme personal danger. I'm a doctor of journalism, man. This is important, goddammit. This is a oh. Our vibrations were getting nasty, but why? Was there no communication in this car? Had we deteriorated to the level of dumb beasts? I want you to understand that this man at the wheel is my attorney. He's not just some dingbat I found on this trip. He's a foreigner. I think he's probably Samoan. It doesn't matter, though, does it? Are you prejudiced? Hell no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Because in spite of his race, this man is extremely valuable to me. I forgot about the beer. You want some? Oh. How about some ether? What? Never mind. All right. Let's get right to the heart of this thing. <laughs>